Well, Felix, we're stuck at the bridge. What's up, everybody, and welcome. We're actually uh, sitting at Loggerhead. I got to run inside to get our 370 C Raid put down in a rack for us. But before we do that, I just want to say thank you for everybody commenting on the last video because it helps give me direction on which way we want to, uh, what I want to show you here, and if you want to see repair or walkthroughs. But it looks like everybody's kind of in the middle. So I'll just continue the path we're doing. And today, we actually have a C Ray that we have build pump problems and a battery switch problem, and hopefully we can figure it out and diagnose it and uh, see what we need to do. So let's get started. All right, you might hear some noise here because we got forklifts happening all over. Looks like we're kind of slow today. But here she is, the big 370, the big 600s on her. The motors are crazy how big they are. So they're four foot taller than I am. Got my meter because we got battery switch problem and I think he also said we have bilge pump problem so we'll check all the bilge pumps see what's happening there. But let me jump on. Alright I actually remember this boat because when he first bought it I put that decal on it. I think I was doing something else here at the marina and I put that on because it came in. So we got no batteries on here. Let's turn it on. He says that his house battery switch is not functioning so it's actually in the back over here I'll show you open up our door we got switches inside here so let's see engine nothing else let's try to hold them see if it does anything yep that one's working all right I can hear stuff clicking so let's go down and check the battery switches down in our hole here Got these automated switches. All right, I heard things clicking, but I don't see anything happening here. Let's go to auto, auto, auto. It's our parallel, which we should probably put on auto also because there's a button on the dash you can push to uh, turn those. We also have fuses in here. We can check. That's for this control box here because it does a lot more than just battery switches. It, it's also a monitor, it's got NEMA feed. I mean, look at all the cables here. You got a NEMA connection down here. You got another connection here, probably for your C zone. So let's go try this again. Back to our switches here. I'm gonna hold it. I think you just have this, you're supposed to just push it, I think, for it to work. I'm gonna hold it, see if it changes. Okay, that turned. That's off. on so I heard them working but I'm not sure they're doing anything I can hear that oh yep yeah, there we go so I think our all right. all right enough I think our problem here so now we got power was that uh, they were in the off position that they were definitely uh, not working when we first got to them I think they have to be set to that auto position in order for them to work. You can hear them internally working. And you, you got a manual bypass here if you need to turn them, or if you gotta turn them all the way off without the switch, you can uh, do that too. So it's kinda cool, they're right, basically right when you come down in here, they're right here in your face, so it makes it easy to get to. Our other problem though now is our bilge pump. And I can see water in there, which means that it's not working. So let's find our fuses for that first. All right, looking right next to us on our starboard side here, it says bilge pump, high water pump, high water cabin, that's your sump pump, and then a key fob. So these all have to have power without the switches. So this is probably our float switch right here. These are the, the breakers for the float switches. So I know that this boat is automated, so it has C zone. So let's go look at the dash. We can actually check real quick and see if uh, our switch is working for the bilge pump too. That kind of lead the way if the pump's bad or the float's bad. Because it should be this one for the float and it's not tripped. This means it's got power. I'm gonna come up here. We got our bilge pump here. Let's see if it lights up. We got our blue light working. It might turn off if there's a problem yet. So it's sending power to it, but then if it gets power back or it back feeds because it's shorted out, it'll turn itself off. We might be able to see that in the dash. Hold on. This thing fold, folds forward. 
So here's our C zone module basically right here. This is what controls everything through our computer now. So what we're going to do is we have builds pump number three. We should see the green light here, which means that it's working correctly. If it wasn't anyways, you would probably have a red light here saying there's something wrong with this circuit. So it's got internal breakers in this. It'll tell you everything on the screen, things that happen. It can reset by itself. So it's a kind of an all-in-one package, but it can be confusing for sure because of how they wire stuff. Let's push the button. Yep, see, now we got green light on number three there. So that means we are getting power. Yeah, they just turned itself off, so it's probably getting back fed. So it's probably got a bad pump, but let's go down in the builds and test it. All right, so we definitely got some water in it, and it's over. You see there's two pumps there. It's definitely over the top of our normal pump here. This is our high water. We can test to make sure this works. Yeah, you can hear the alarm going off, and I can hear water pumping, so that's working. Let's see where our wiring goes. It goes up over on the wall over here. That's going to be fun to test. I'm going to have to climb behind our sea keeper here because that's a good spot for it. Let me crawl myself back here and uh, we'll see if I can get this wiring out to test to make sure it's got power. All right, we're stuck in the hole here. We're jammed down in here. Let me show you. So I got my meter right here. I'm actually I'm going to drain this water out here in a second, but we actually have this is a, one of our underwater lights, so I'm stealing the ground off of this so that I can test our auto float, which is down here. A little difficult to reach. And here, this is our main auto float, so we want to just make, make sure we have voltage to this, and then we know the pump is good or bad. Because if we got voltage, just like we have coming from the switch, then our pump is shorted out, and that's why it's not working. All right, I'm gonna attempt to one hand this here. I'm kind of on the other side. I'll steal my ground. All right, there's our ground. Let's see if we got voltage here. Hold on. There we go. So yeah, we are 12.3. Well, let me get my arm out of here. All right, now that I'm kind of stuck in here, the fetal position, let me uh, put the camera down real quick and we'll back out here. So basically, I'm gonna climb into this piece right here and push myself over the little hump there so I can reach around to get down to those wire connections. So it's gonna be fun definitely to change this stuff out. And we have some water standing now that I wanna get out of here, so let's do that first. Well, here's the fun part about these boats. They do not have drain plugs in them. So I'm gonna see if I can get to the high water uh, bilge pump right here. All right, let's back out, go to our menu here, and our controls, and overview here. If we look closely, High water alarms are both off. Builds pump. Not gonna do anything because that's just a standard one. So it looks like we don't have a high water builds pump override here. So we're gonna have to go use the auto float. Let me get my arm down here and hold this float till this water's gone out of here. At least it won't be in here because I gotta get an alarm. That's annoying. So anyway, I'm gonna have to get, I'm gonna replace that float. It's probably not bad, but it's been sitting under water for a while. And obviously our bilge pump is gonna have to be replaced. So I'm gonna get those two components. But for now, I just wanna empty the water. And uh, I'll get back to you here so you don't have to hear this beeping noise. Three days later. All right, I got most of it out. I can do my job later. Probably have to empty a little bit more out of it later, but it's kind of draining from the front to the back a little bit. But we wanna do one more thing here. Let's recheck our battery switches, make sure they're turned off and on again. All right, we should have to hold them to turn them off. We'll do engines first. One, two. One, all right, they're working. Now we should just be able to just push them to turn them on. They're both working, so they gotta be set on auto in order for these to work. Well, this is a little interesting because now we have automation in both of our systems here. So our battery switch, fully automated, and our bilge pump is fully automated through the C-Zone. So again, we're fighting computers here, and our bilge pump auto float is actually the only thing hardwired to that circuitry down there and that's on purpose of course because what happens if we have a failure across the board on the computer or something that's not going to work plus it has to work with the battery switches off so you still have some redundancy here but it looks like like every boat that's modern there's a computer controlling everything so we got a computer in our battery switch system we got a computer for all of our bilge pumps and our lights and everything a c-zone system i mean if you look there's a computer for everything look at my videos you'll see steering computers for the motors, 
it's got V12s on it, so I'm sure there's 15 computers for each motor here. So this is the way of the world and how it's going, but uh, that's what we're having to deal with now. So it's making it harder for the consumer to do their own work anymore just because we have automation. So hope you enjoy the video, and as always, I appreciate everybody watching. I will see you next time. Later. Oh, I almost forgot to plug my underwater light back in. We get in that phone call later. If everything works now, but my underwater light doesn't work. Good to go.